Hi, I'm Mindy Peters, the Solutions Manager at SPI, and in this video, I am going to show you how to set up a Stripe account that's connected directly into your Circle account. That way, you can start accepting payments directly inside of Circle. So this would be great if you want to have a paid community, either if you want to have members join with a one-time fee or a recurring subscription. This setup will help you get started with that. So let's get going here. In the upper right-hand corner here, I'll click on the settings icon and that will take us to our circle settings and then in the panel on the left here I'll go down to payments and click on paywalls and then to get started here we're going to click connect with stripe now what this text is telling you here in this box is that even if you already have a stripe account set up you will need to create a new stripe account for your circle connection and that is our stripe regulation they now require for each individual sort of software setup like that where you have a direct integration you have to have a separate stripe account now if you've worked with stripe before if you already have a stripe account set up in this email box, use the same email account for your current business Stripe account. If you're setting up a new Stripe account here, you're going to want to choose an email address that is sort of your main operations or your main finance email address. Don't use an email address you don't check on a regular basis. You wanna make sure if Stripe sends you any notifications that you see those and you can respond to them quickly. Once you've entered your email, hit continue. Now, if Stripe recognizes like, hey, we already have an account set up under that email address, you'll be given the opportunity to just enter your existing password. If this is a new account, you'll have the opportunity to set a password. Enter your password or set that password and hit login. Now, I already have a couple of Stripe accounts set up that are connected to this email address. So Stripe is going to give me the opportunity to copy that information from one of those accounts into this new account. They're also going to give me the opportunity to just set up a new business from scratch. I do wanna copy the existing information because it's exactly the same as my other setup. So I'm gonna choose one of those accounts and then I'll continue. You also can start from a completely new business, but do note that when you're setting up a Stripe account, it's going to ask you to verify a lot of information. And so if you have the opportunity to copy information that already exists, that is going to save you a huge amount of time. So go ahead and do that. All right, so if you copied information in from an existing Stripe account, all that you will have to do is go through each section here, click on the pencil, just verify, make sure all of that information is correct. If you are starting a new application, Stripe is going to give you the opportunity to fill in all of these pieces of information, your business details, your support details. Then it's going to ask you questions about who owns the company and you are going to need the following information. You will need to know each person's birth date, their social security number, their home address. Sometimes Stripe asks for that information all at once. Sometimes it asks for it in stages. And so what you will need to know is for each person you are entering and you need to enter all of the owners of your company, give them a heads up that they will be receiving some emails from Stripe that will be looking to verify some of this information. You may be able to enter the information in yourself or you may have to have them click on links inside of these emails and enter the information for themselves. I've had it presented to me in both ways on previous occasions when I've set up Stripe accounts. So just know that that is coming and your Stripe account will not be active until all of the owners have verified this information in the account. We'll also need to enter in a bank account and connect a bank account into Stripe before you can get started. So let's just take a look first at the business details here. So now you'll go through editing the business details is pretty straightforward. You need to know the legal business name for the company, enter in the business address, the business phone number, pick out the industry to the best of your ability from their drop down list, put in your business website and give a really short description on what it is that your company does. Under customer support details, the first two boxes, you want to fill in something that will be immediately recognizable to your customers if they see that printed on their credit card receipt. Next, you're going to need a customer support 
phone number and don't use your personal cell phone number. This phone number is going to get printed on your Stripe receipts. So whenever someone makes a purchase, this phone number will get printed on those receipts. So if you don't have an office phone other than your personal cell phone, go to Google Voice or a similar service and set up a phone number there and use that on your receipts. And then just make sure that it's a phone number you actually know how to check. You know how to get incoming calls. Take a minute to set up the voicemail box there. Finally, you just want to put in your business mailing address. I'm not going to click into the management and ownership sections here just because basically I would black out everything that you would see there. But just know that this is where you will need to fill in all of the owners of the company and you'll designate one person as the account representative. That's just basically whoever interacts with the finances on a day-to-day -day business. It will be the person you'll want to choose for that. And you'll need to have, again, their social security number, their birth date, their home, mailing address, all of that information, their phone numbers. You'll need to put all of that information in. Finally, we'll need to connect a bank account and we can't move forward using Stripe until we have that bank account connected. Um, make sure it is a business bank account and not your personal bank account. And then once your Stripe account is set up, you'll have the ability to set up reports so that as Stripe is paying out, you can get notifications so that you can reconcile when you see you know, money rolling into that bank account, you can give that to whoever's doing your bookkeeping or if that's you, that'll help you reconcile those things. You can set up those reports once your Stripe account is fully activated. Once we have all of this, we'll go ahead and hit submit. Now, if you were setting up a new account um, and we didn't get all of that information from the various partners and things set up immediately, you won't be able to proceed there, but you can get started on it. From here, now we're fully set up with a Stripe account inside of Circle. You can go ahead and hit new paywall, and this will let you start to configure however it is you want to accept payments, whether that's a one-time fee or a recurring subscription for your memberships. The final thing to know is that now that you have a Stripe account set up, you can go to stripe.com and log in. And from here, you can configure a lot of different things, including what is on your receipts, how to get notifications for payments or new customers. Go and do a little exploring inside of Stripe. If you get stuck, Stripe's documentation is very good and will help you get unstuck. Each week on this channel, we are publishing videos about managing online communities. In addition to technical tutorials like this one, members of our CX team are publishing videos on the strategies and tactics for running membership communities, so be sure to subscribe below. SPI stands for Smart Passive Income. To learn more about SPI, go to smartpassiveincome.com.